Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States, was assassinated on April 14, 1865 by John Wilkes Booth, a Confederate sympathizer and actor. Booth's motivations for assassinating Lincoln was complex but primarily stemmed from his vehement opposition to Lincoln's policies during the Civil War and his desire to rally support for the Confederate cause. Booth was a passionate supporter of slavery and states' rights and he believed that Lincoln's policies including his Emancipation Proclamation and his efforts to preserve the Union, were unconstitutional and threatened the South's way of life. Booth would have been reluctant to abandon the Southern state's way of life, a way of life that builds wealth by underpaying and overworking Blacks. He also believed that Lincoln was a tyrant who had overstepped his bounds as president, and he saw himself as a hero who could save the South by taking out the president. It was so sad when Booth was so consumed with heroism to save the slave states in the South that he tried to assassinate Lincoln, one of the greatest presidents ever. On the evening of April 14, 1865, Booth sneaked into Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C., where Lincoln was attending a play with his wife, Mary Todd Lincoln. Booth shot Lincoln in the back of the head, and Lincoln died the following day, becoming the first president in American history to be assassinated. The death of a great man like Lincoln was a misfortune not only for America, but for all mankind. After assassinating President Abraham Lincoln, John Wilkes Booth fled Washington, D.C. and went into hiding. The federal government launched a massive manhunt to capture him and Booth and his accomplice, David Harold, were eventually tracked down to a farm in Virginia. On April 26, 1865, Union troops surrounded the barn where Booth was hiding, and a shootout ensued. Harold surrendered, but Booth refused and was shot by a Union soldier. Booth was paralyzed from the waist down and died a few hours later. A lot of people have no sympathy for the death of Booth, who preferred a system in which they buy and sell black slaves and work them out like beasts for low wages. Booth's co-conspirators were arrested, tried, and convicted for their roles in the assassination plot. Four of them were executed, including Mary Surratt, who was the first woman to be executed by the federal government. It was a tragedy that Abraham Lincoln was assassinated before he could fully implement his vision for the country, including his efforts to end slavery and promote racial equality. Lincoln played a critical role in the abolition of slavery in the United States, and his Emancipation Proclamation and other policies helped to pave the way for the eventual passage of the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments to the Constitution.
which abolished slavery, granted citizenship and equal protection under the law to all people born or naturalized in the United States and guaranteed voting rights regardless of race or color. While Lincoln's death was a devastating blow to the nation, his legacy lived on, and his vision for a more just and equitable society continued to inspire generations of Americans to fight for civil rights and social justice. It is important to remember his contributions and to continue working towards a more inclusive and equitable society where all people are treated with dignity and respect. Thank you for watching the video, Lincoln's assassination provided by history and current events. I'm Rebecca, Olivia, Mia, Jody, Lydia, Julia, and Tony have contributed so far as narrators. Thank you.